Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a cleaning video. Today I'm going to be cleaning up my house, which is not actually terrible, but it's pretty messy and I want to get it all done within 30 minutes maximum. Like that's literally all I can spend on cleaning my house. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the before and then uh, I'll show you the after when I'm done. So this is what we're starting with. Just a little bit of a mess in the player area. The living room is a bit of a disaster with just some stuff. I need to fluff up the pillows and all of that. And then our kitchen island just has a bunch of stuff on it. So I need to clear that all off, uh, clean the dishes, wipe down the countertops, all of that. Another area I want to tackle today is this table. We've kind of been playing on it for the last couple of days. So there's a lot of Grace's different toys. So I want to clean this up a little bit and put some of it away. I'm also going to do a quick tidy of Grace's room. It's not looking too bad, but you can tell the girls have been in here playing with books. So I want to clean all those up and just kind of put the pillows where they need to be. Probably take everything off the bed though and get it ready for bed. But yeah, I'm gonna tackle this room now too. But I think I'm gonna try and wait until I put Holly to sleep in about 30 minutes. So I will come back and start cleaning this then. All right, so I'm starting off by cleaning in the kitchen today. I'm just gonna go ahead and clear the countertops of all the clutter, put things in the dishwasher, wash a few items, and just basically get the counters ready to be wiped down because I wanna do a good, clean wipe down of them. Starting to get used to it, think I'll survive. I met you in the summer when you left, it was cold. Said we loved one another, guess that we were wrong. I met you in the summer, our love was out of control. I've been going crazy without you so long. I met you in the You guys wouldn't believe what piles up on this countertop, honestly. <laughs> the amount of stuff that just kind of accumulates here is insane, so I'm just going to get rid of a couple of things so I can wipe down that section. So now it's time to move on to the living room where I'm going to clean up some of the clutter off the ground and just swap out my pillows and get them to look nice again. It's not a huge disaster in here, but I want it to look nice. Next up is the kitchen table. It became a bit of a disaster after a couple of days of good play here. Grace made slime here this day, so I had to put the slime away, which you can see in the little container, as well as a bunch of little horse toys. I just went and got a container, put them all in the container so she could easily bring them back to the table tomorrow if she wanted to play with them. Now moving on to Grace's bedroom, where I just want to do a good clean of the books off the floor. It's not a huge disaster in here, not much needs to be done, but I cannot stand when there's books all over the floor because I don't want the girls to trip on them. Before I head out to clean the play area, I decided I was just going to turn down Grace's bed and get everything ready for when she goes to bed. I picked out a couple of books for us to read and everything's just set up, so it'll be nice and easy. Now that I'm done cleaning most of the house and at 7 o'clock, I'm going to go ahead and put in all the dishes I found and go ahead and start the dishwasher. The last area of the house to clean tonight is the play area and luckily I have a little helper to help me out. All right, so it's about 40 minutes later. I spent about 10 minutes putting Holly down. So all this cleaning took me about 30 minutes and it's looking a lot better in here. So let me show you what it looks like now. So starting with the play area, we just tidied it up a bit. Grace actually helped me out, which was great. Made it go super quick. I also cleaned up the whole living room as well. I didn't vacuum because I did do that earlier, um, but I fluffed up the pillows, made everything look better. And we actually got a new rug in here. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I feel like it really ties the space together a lot better. So I love it. 
I also cleaned up the whole kitchen, just kind of like wiped down the surfaces. It was pretty clean to begin with. A few dishes just needed to go in the dishwasher, which I'm running, and I just wanted to give the countertops a good wipe down. I also came to this table and cleaned it all up. Grace was using it as like a craft table and she made slime here today and played with a bunch of toys. So I took them all off the table and just gave it a good wipe down. So it's looking a lot better as well. And the last thing I did was just kind of tidy Grace's room up a little bit. I actually turned down the bed because she's gonna go to bed in about half an hour. And I picked out a couple of books for us to read. Also straightened up the bookshelf. Just got everything off of the floor. So it is looking a lot better as well. See, so yeah, that's everything for today's video. I hope you got some motivation from this video to go and clean up your house in 30 minutes, do a really quick speed clean. As a mom, I feel like you just have to do speed cleans. Otherwise, you spend your entire day cleaning. And I just like to get as much done as possible in the shortest amount of time. So that's what I did today. And I'm pretty proud with how it turned out. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And we'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.